The University of Ottawa established itself as a leader in photonics by attracting and retaining the best talents that we could get. The partnership that we have forged with the Max Planck Institute is second to none. It is to bring the best talent of both countries together to try to bring technologies at the forefront. Our center came into existence about five years ago. Before that, we'd had a robust research uh, program uh, between the University of Ottawa and the Max Planck uh, Institute in Germany. The research in our group generally deals with the interaction between light and matter. One of our major research topics is optomechanics. That is, we study the interaction of light and mechanical vibrations. In a worldwide context, the Max Planck Center stands out because it's probably unique in forming such strong transatlantic links between some of the very best photonics research groups internationally. It's a very close uh, collaborative activity uh, between the, the two partners. We have already had over 30 uh, research projects uh, sponsored by our center. We deal with uh, two main thrusts of our research. One is in extreme photonics and the other is in quantum photonics. I think that the Max Planck Center is particularly strong when it comes to inspiring connections between seemingly disparate topics. One of our very intense uh, topics of research is in the development of secure optical communication. My research focuses on um, uh, exploring artificial uh, and natural materials and uh, nanostructured devices uh, for replicating the functions of electronic chips, but in optics, using light instead of electricity, which is important uh, for the field of optical communications in order to improve the speed and efficiency of uh, these networks, and also which is important for the creation of the next generation of medical diagnostic devices. The kind of materials we use in optical integration dictates the functionalities we can reproduce on a chip and dictates the efficiency of our integrated optical devices. 3.5 semiconductors are very special because they are capable of emitting light. None of other material platforms considered for integrated optics are capable of emitting light and they need to be hybridized with 3.5 semiconductors in order to obtain light on the same chip as integrated optical devices. In 3.5 semiconductors, we can do everything on the same chip. My research focuses on computational and theoretical photonics, in particular understanding how light interacts with nanostructured materials. We apply this in our group to a large range of topics, including, for example, understanding how images are formed in nonlinear optical microscopy, designing nanophotonic devices, and also understanding nonlinear emission from nanostructured materials, amongst other topics. In one recent project, we collaborated with researchers at the University of Ottawa who were working with scientists at the Royal Canadian Mint to create color on coins without paint. So what they did was they radiated the metallic surface with uh, ultra-fast laser pulses, which then caused the surface structure to change. So what we did was we used large-scale simulations to investigate these these structures and through those we were able to ascertain the role of plasmonic resonances in, in the color creation and explain the trends that they saw in experiments. In an upcoming project we aim to develop a way of imaging structure within living neurons and this could be important because it would be a tool for potential early diagnosis of degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's but would also be useful for testing new drugs for such diseases. As a Max Planck Center member, I'm in contact with uh, the community of researchers uh, which are leaders in the field of optics, concentrated both in Ottawa and in Germany. This facilitates creative thinking and uh, this atmosphere uh, allows uh, many fruitful collaborations to originate from every such meeting. So the benefits are countless. These types of partnerships are critical to advancing basic research developing real-world applications, but also generating the new ideas that will create breakthrough technologies in the future. Over the next five years, we hope the center continues to thrive scientifically. We've also launched new programs, such as an undergraduate exchange program, that will even further strengthen the links between Ottawa and Germany in the photonics community.